What's up? What's up? Wheatfield, how y'all doing? This your girl Lati here at Terrace and Wheat to Rose Show. Where you showing up, never know what you gonna get. We doing another quick message or message. We really not for sure how long it's going to be, but we got our unknown timer. So we'll just see. Okay, okay. I was listening to, and I took a picture of her page too. It was like right when she posted it for some reason. Um, Spirit called me to go over to her page. Free message. At, um, Spirit called me to go over to her page and just see um, what she posted. And I went, her name is Spiritual Sag. And she has another channel called Sag and Son. I like her. Um, she's a really great reader. And I get you know, real good resonance with her. And I was listening to her read, and it was like, wow, she had just posted it like seven minutes in. I was, well, she posted it, and then it was like, I caught it when it was like up for like seven minutes. But when she started going, something is soon, free message is soon. Um, when she started going, she started talking about a lot of things that really resonated with me and a lot of the things that I had just recently read and talked about. So it was like, wow, great affirmation, right? We often see that um, readers listening to other readers, at least I think I do. And I've heard her talk about listening to other readers, so I guess it is a thing, right? Obviously, because I watch other readers and they comment on my page. So, duh, what am I talking about? Father, please come in and help guide this message. Yes, thank you so much for taking me from anything that will come against me to cause any confusion, any chaos, any disillusion, any illusions. Like, tear it all down. Make it very clear, very plain. Father, block out anything that will come against the clarity, the conciseness of this message. Thank you, Father, so much. Pull me into your energy their sanctuary father and protect me you know willing and surrendered vessel to be a messenger onto you the most high god for heaven has come to earth to do a work on earth and in earth to do a work a work that we are being called into remembrance and that is what her message was about and it was like wow we were just talking about that so it hit me and then the inspiration hit me and i was like we got to do a message and how can i show that you know well one she was the inspiration for it but it wasn't like you know I sat there and listened to the whole thing I did not immediately came out it was like I only listened to it for a few minutes and then I came out because it was like I got to I got I got to bring this message because she's saying exactly what I felt but it was so much more starting to pour in and come in. And it was funny, too, also because there's another content creator. His name is, he's another intuitive channel messenger. He's a, a he reads, but he mostly channels, right? And brings forth the messages from the spirit. And... He was saying also that something was coming. So everybody has been feeling the energy, especially of the solar eclipse and stuff coming in. Slow down. Yes. I feel like an abundance of energy right now. Let me sit back. I have an abundance of energy right now. So all of this information coming in has really got me like excited. Um couple of things because one a lot of people are reading the same thing the plane is being read consistently so it's like okay we can see what it is but her read today was so phenomenal because it was like it's a lot of people who just don't know who they are right you go through the trials trials of the chosen and you just really don't know who you are and she was discovering her life path her north node from her south node like the purpose of this life cycle what she's to be learning in order to um you know deepen your spiritual walk your journey you know back to the most high and us coming back into wholeness and completeness so back up <coughs> angel answers Thank you, Father, for sealing me. Are we sealed? Are we in alignment, Father? Yes. Please step forward, Father, and bring the message onto your wheat field. Bring it onto me first and foremost so that I may be edified, strengthening the spirit, strengthening my spiritual foundation, Father. Yes. Allowing that energy to be raised up into my sacral chakra and clearing out any blockages so that I can be 
illuminated and rays forward igniting my solar chakra help me to transmute any energy any residual energy any repressed energy that is stuck in this space father transmute it so that we can ignite and light up my heart chakra father yes call me back into rhythm into resonance father yes so that i may remember father that i may speak out truthly father that i may call out onto you to ask you to deliver onto me my portion father my spiritual weapons and blessings in every abundance father that i need in order to be strong to fight mighty father for your name's sake father yes we are here to complete a work to do a work father and we are awakening to that work and i speak out to anybody who's on that spiritual journey awakening to their work to their purpose seeking to discover themselves more deeply um and just to do what you called, what you were called forth to do. Where is it? It's here. This, this one. Anything else? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Pull me into alignment, Father. Seal me. Seal me. Ooh, seal me. These, this one, this one, both. Oh, okay. This one? Yes. Okay. So, Twin Flame is here. So, we definitely have past life activity. And she was saying that a lot of people, she used the, the thing, what caught me, that's what it was. What caught me is because she was using the reference to the Lion King. And she was talking about that part with Rafiki talking to Simba saying, you don't even know who you are. Like the staff. It hit me with the staff because Rafiki always walked with the staff. And we kept seeing the staff here in the psychic tarot where it says to stand your ground. We'll flip it and see if it comes out. But we kept seeing stand your ground but also a part of the whole thing with the lion king and simba remembering who he was it took the ancestors to come back and remind him of who he was to give him the courage and the bravery to take on that fight right to go to war to battle with all the things of the past father said we're not gonna get it but um yeah this is anywho anywho uh so rafiki popped him upside the head with the cane and he was like i got his attention so something had to happen to hurt him to get his attention in order for him to be called into action right so a couple of things people are going to have a lot of awareness or something coming back to you to bring you into awareness of something that you've been running from or something that you just have put out of memory, something that you've repressed and find a way to just kind of go on and deal. Some of it is past lifetime stuff. You know, we got twin flame right here. Um, those karmic relationships or twin flame relationships coming together that have been ordained from previous lifetimes and life cycles. They're going to start coming in soon. Father say, yes, yeah, soon. Do you want this other card? Soon. You want here? In truth and goodness. Truth. Yes. Ears, Father. Give me your ears that I may discern. Yes, thank you. So, with, you know, people being called back into remembrance, ancestors visiting to be able to say, hey, um, this is who you are, and you're called to do something different, and let me show you, let me guide you, let me help you. A lot of people are kind of, you know, struggling, I feel, down that journey. I feel like somebody, like, hobbling, like, you know, like that five of uh, coins kind of, uh, sentiment where you like that person that's on that one crutch and right they need some help help in the spirit I feel are we there yes where right here thank you so upside down um yeah somebody was hobbling and look what spirit pulled out 
you don't need nobody else to fix you but it's upside down spirit turned it upside down so yes you need to be perfected in the spirit is what this is saying you know and that's what we pray we've been learning like having it revealed onto us about prayer and how we call in our spiritual weapons our spiritual blessings our abundance to make us strong and perfected in the spirit so that we can be strong for the battle you know a lot of times we've been weak and people are injured and you know they got broken wings and they oh crutch is kind of hobbling and to go to the spirit and ask for your blessing is a thing and to be guided by your ancestors to bring that knowledge forward i feel like we are prime for that especially considering the plane the portals the eclipses like this space so a lot of people may be going through some things like getting knocked over the head and like rafiki did simba and saying you don't even know who you are right so that was her thing but i have always heard when i get this certain car it's called a uh, I always say be prepared and then I say prepare for what and then uh, he say the death of the king no king no king la 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 and then Scar always goes no fools I will be king like right and then of course Simba having to remember who he is to come back and take on the fight the battle so I feel like two <laughs> almost did the wrong figure two things with all of this one, I feel like somebody's being prepared, right? There's something kind of going and brewing or people that are being prepared. And I believe a part of the preparation is a lot of the deceit that we see, the deceit and the manipulation, right? So like in the movie, The Lion King, people, or Simba, was kind of groomed up under Scar with that uh, kind of envy and jealousy and just not even being able to recognize that he was against him right and was setting him up the whole time but once he finally did this one yeah we're all we're all just stardust that's an energy um but once he figured out that you know he never well how do we how do where do we i lost my what were you saying it's something about this stardust. I feel like Spirit is saying that we're all stardust, like the ones that come from the stars to star seeds. Yeah. Calling all the ones that are the star seeds, like your ancestors are trying to awaken you to say, hey, you know, remember who you are, basically. And I feel like in order to get you to remember who you are, that preparation is like the wakening up part, which I was what I was trying to get to. Thank you for pulling me back. Yes, because I was, yeah. Anywho, so all of the hard knocks, the deceit, the manipulation, the lying, the heartbreak, the all of the turmoil and the chaos and all of that was really like the Rafiki beating us over the head with circumstances saying do you remember who you are and now that we're in this space energetically we're starting to come into remembrance that we are essentially stardust we're star seeds you know dust of the stars and I just heard ashes to ashes dust to dust like something's ashes which will be ashes i hear tears and then dust i feel stardust which go with me i know it's weird but i hear stardust stardust to stardust so it's like a distinction it's a difference you know and i don't know what that means i don't know what that means i just feel like there's a difference in something Father, please read something soon. Soon. A message. Something to bring peace. And I think, do you want this, this one? Yeah, peace, love. 
I feel like, again, that portion of the spirit coming in, twin flame, the answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. But love, we got free message, message of guidance. So a message of guidance coming in soon. After that, we have abundance. And that father put that on top of where all just started. Let's see if y'all can see that. Can you see this one? Maybe a little bit more. All right. So abundance and stardust. Like there's an abundance of stardust or star seeds in the plane, right? And a lot of them are going to receive a message of guidance coming in soon. And that's what I was feeling like that download. It felt like as I was getting the downloads, I was trying to get it out and how I was feeling with this movie and how, what she said and it came together with what I had said and it was just like, wow and it almost felt like you know that emoji when your head is like the right so anywho back to the message something is spiritually led but i feel like it is car not karmic but a, a a love type of relationship but in the spirit you know like um give it to me father law of attraction relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies what is that source says you're attracting your destiny and it is is it like the movement from our south node to our north node and we will attract again all of the abundances of goodness or relationships are an uh, assignment uh. relationships are an assignment so yeah that's why i was feeling like it's a spiritual relationship a soul contract type of relationship which one this one you are profoundly clairvoyant <laughs> gotta show y'all that profoundly clairvoyant you want this one too it goes over here integrity integrity is is there integrity in question no high honor high esteem very high esteem i feel like you know a noble almost like somebody that's almost like i feel like knighted in the spirit very high ranking very high ranking i feel like ooh, almost like an officer that like i feel like one of the angels that in front of the father's throne you know like wow I mean, very high ranking. I hear legion, like warrior angels. And she mentioned an angel, you know, like angels from the four corners of the earth. And I feel something very significant in relation to that. This one. Something is against your nature, upside down. It is. You want this upside down too? Maybe you are going against your nature or you are rejecting your true nature. Maybe you just don't understand. You don't know who you are. You don't. You don't know what your nature is. You don't know who you are. You don't know that you are highly clairvoyant. You didn't know or you don't know. That that's a part of your nature. Trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight. You want either one of these? Your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. Guidance, I feel. Something that's going to be in the future like your destiny is to bring messages of guidance. And I feel like you're going to step into it soon. Like, you're going to be found to be 
not only credible and what credible I hear, but yeah, I hear credible. I hear like the real deal. Like yeah. Anything else in this deck, Father? No. We got a split though. The light. Somebody is coming with the truth to illuminate. And we had these two cards come out earlier. So I'm going to just show them. Can I show them? Yes. Light and the anger. Either you are going to shed a light on all the darkness, all the hate, all the, you know, or you're going to be coming with the light, coming with that fire, like coming from using that anger, all that turmoil to just, and I feel like, like you're going to be serving it out like it's almost like almost I want to say like somebody is like almost like you can use the energy of it like Oh, okay, wow. <laughs> when I just felt and what I could hear, what I could see is I feel like somebody has been using anger, almost battling with the past and issues with anger and like trying to combat it and fight it like almost figuring out how to harness it you know like it was your weapon before and it's something now that's going to why do I feel like the light like put a light on it or have you speak it out in a light way a way that serves it up and out and we've been talking about somebody having the ability to use their anger that emotion of anger the anger of everything that has happened in the past i feel all of it to almost like galvanize it and ball it all up and like to kind of form it and shape it and you know almost like dragon ball z i feel like i can't even put the cards down it's like gathering I feel gathering, right? Gathering. And it's like compressing it all, like bringing it whole almost. Like bringing it and forming something and shaping it. And then, I don't know if this is pulling more, but I feel like it's pulling the energy out of it. The energy, the energy, the energy, the energy. And it's just going to rise up and... You can serve it out or use it to like strike back almost that all of that energy I feel like wow like yeah like you're gonna take all of that anger all of the hurt all of the everything the grief the sorrow the pain loss and everything all of that emotion and pull it up and pull it up and form it 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 until you are able to just get it as heightened and intensified as you possibly can drawing all of it out and serve it out I feel like you're gonna use it to like strike a blow and I feel like it's a blow that's gonna hit through like ring through the cosmos like the universe like it is going to be astounding wow somebody doesn't know what their true nature is maybe you need a message of guidance you know and maybe a message is going to come in soon that's what I feel like you know it's going to come in 
Where else should I go, Father? Back in here, the twin flame card. The answer to your question involves a spiritually based. Is it romantic? No. Spiritual. Romant uh, a spiritually based relationship. That's what it is. Anything else in here? No. But we have boundaries and help is on the way. You know, I feel like you're protected. Like, hold your boundaries. Courage is popping out here, too. Be courageous. Hold your boundaries. Like, protect yourself. Protect your energy. And help is on the way. You have help. Because I feel like, just like even when uh, Simba decided to go off and decide to face it, of course, Timon and Pupa came, right? His little, his buddies. And then um, the lionesses, they stood up and they fought, right? And it was just like, they were able to take the pride land back. They were. This. Ask for guidance. Ask for guidance. Ask for guidance. And I'm sorry, guys. No, I'm not unapologetically. If, um, you know, the beginning was choppy because it was just like so much coming in trying to figure out how to get it out. You want this one? That could be later. You want this one here? We have the tarot of opposites. We have starry beginnings. You want this? Do you want this? No. So we're probably going to end up doing something a little bit later. I feel like it needs to sit. It needs to rest. So we can we can serve it out. We can give it out. You want this one? The energy, though. Energy. Because when I tell you I have my energy right now, it's like, whoa. Yes. Okay. Energy. 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 Woo, this box feels hot. Yes. Cleanse this deck. This deck of cards. Cleanse it, Father. Make the energy fresh for this reading. Make the energy fresh for this reading. Shuffle. Three times. Cut. Three times. One, Ooh. two, three. Okay, 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 okay. Ready? All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Which one? This, this, this one. All right. Door to the spirit. Somebody is literally at the door to the spirit. It's a challenge for you, though. That's why I see it. I feel like some people are really struggling with this journey. They are, because people are awakening to some really deep stuff, yo. And especially in this day and time, the internet is so prevalent, and people are finding out more stuff. And she spoke about lineage, like going down your lineage and really seeing where you come from. The door to personal healing and happiness and father is in reverse right over here on top of you don't need anybody to fix you the father we need the father to come in and and perfect us in the spirit and i feel like that's your twin flame is your spirit self you know the highest vibration of love the highest frequency father to love the Father, to love thyself wholly and completely. Like there is no greater love than the ability to love yourself wholly, to love the Father. Because the Father made you in his image. Any one of these? Do you want anything else? Which one? This? door to value and a challenge 
Your door to value isn't a challenge because you don't recognize your true nature. You don't understand that you have a connection to the spirit itself, like a direct line to the spirit because you are stardust, you're a star seed, right? You are made differently. And there's something about your unique nature. Yeah, rest and rejuvenate. You need rest. We talked about somebody feeling like healing needed, like in a lack, in a loss, like you've been beat down. You know, you need time to rejuvenate, to get back up on your feet. And that's why we need the Father to come in and perfect us in the Spirit, to call in every spiritual weapon, every spiritual abundance, so that we can be strong, we can be edified in the Spirit, because the battle still rages on. And I feel like you are a true earth angel. You are waking up to the work it is that you are supposed to do. And I feel like there's something that you need to do differently. Something that you need to reproach in this phase. Door to the Spirit. Something coming in for you soon. A message of guidance with the clarifier of ask for guidance. To ask for it. To ask for your guidance to come in. Where? This one? This? Where? Right here? And that? This? Okay. Okay. Storm warning. Storm warning. I told you, somebody is going through a storm. I kept hearing, be prepared. Prepare for what? The death of the king. No king, no king. La, 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 la. Yang and the yang. 22. Coming back to ho. Gosh darn it, father. Yes. Didn't I say twin flame was you in your highest self, the spirit self, your whole, that's what I was saying, coming to completeness with it, with your whole you, understanding who you are, your whole true self, your other half self. Yes. One side is the moon, the other side is the sun. To illuminate what you can't see in the dark was in the spirit. What is not yet illuminated by the light. You are truly clairvoyant. Like the real, real deal. What are you saying now to this? Do they know they're the real deal? No. angel of strength and I did not say that I felt like somebody was an angel like I heard legion like somebody that was knighted like somebody that had high ooh, ranking yes what did I say this was twin flame coming together with your spiritual self that a lot of the other things that's been happening in your life is a part of your contract which you needed to do so that you could be prepared so that you could awaken you are probably just now getting to understand with these books and learn that deep knowledge that's coming out that a part of your job is probably to balance the scale to help use all of that nonsense in order to strike a blow back. You don't know your nature. Patience is here. Adjacent possibilities. First chakra, Archangel Michael. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Wow, and I see that horn. Yes, I don't know, challenged by the call. Yes, because I remember, ooh, it was a couple years ago, too, for 2019, yeah, when I heard the call, the world, the cycle. And what did I say? And the world is filled with what? All this bullshit, this, envy, hurt, 
pain coming to balance it. Man holding a coin. But somebody's third eye chakra is awakening. Wow. Patience, adjacent possibilities. First chakra, Archangel Michael. I definitely feel this right here. Gabriel. Horn blown. Like you hear it. And I see this throat chakra lit up. Like you are going to speak. And would you speak out? Huh. Yes. We see free message. A message of peace. Messages of guidance. Which one? This one journey somebody getting ready to go on a journey it's going to take you places where you never thought you'd go but you need to strengthen yourself in the spirit the envy the deceit every trial every tribulation that's coming against thee is to awaken you is to awaken you. It's to push you in the spirit. Push you in the spirit. You've been through a lot with all of this, whoever you are. We, you've been through a lot. I feel this path. But you definitely are an angel of strength. Like somebody is a for real heart, whole earth angel. And you have some serious gifts. When I say... It is time for you to come to wholeness, come to good. Can't tell you what to do because you got free will. I can't tell you to do nothing. But if your spirit is ringing out to you, as I've been doing my best to deliver this message with all this energy that's flowing through, the Father, use me, speak through me. That throat chakra, use it. Father is going to use you in an amazing way. When I say an amazing way, amazing way, it's a part of your contract, beloved. Right on the nose. It's a part of your contract. It's what you came to do. You are called to do this. And you standing at the door of the Spirit. I feel the Spirit is calling you. Calling you to come to wholeness. And all of these storms that you are experiencing, cycle after cycle after cycle, it's just your way of gathering energy. 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 Yes. Yes. Coming you to hold it. Balance. Illuminating what's in the dark. Calling forth what's in the spirit. That other side. Coming together with your whole spirit self. And I don't know who you are, but Father said you need to eat more vegetables. We finna have a salad tonight. Heart chakra. Third throat chakra. Earth angel. Third eye. Sacral. Animal power. And I feel this like that night of swords. Like rushing in. But you may have an animal spirit guide. No. I just feel like that knight of swords energy for real. Yeah. Oof. Goodness. 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 Ooh. Listen to your intuitive feelings and finally turn the car upside down. You're having a challenge with accepting who you are. Being who you are. Listening. Giving over full control. I heal. Full control. Vacuum away fear. You're afraid of it. We have this one too. Do you have anything that's standing in your way? addictions crystals are going to be helpful solar plexus chakra maybe you need to take a workshop go to a seminar something like that find some help other mentors get around other people like you do some more research i feel with them books 
Archangel Raphael, solar plexus. If you get nervous, just follow your service. But I feel like the service makes you nervous. Like you can't get into it because the whole thing makes you nervous. I feel like you are over here, like looking for guidance, asking for guidance. And Father say it's coming soon, like it's going to hit you like boom, like knock you upside your head. I feel Rafiki hitting Simba over the head with that stick. Like Moses, like if Moses had to go hit the children of Israel over the head with the staff, like do you know who you are? Wake up. That's how I feel. Base chakra, medium. Be willing to forgive is in a challenge. Your crown chakra. Shield yourself. Protect yourself. Yeah, ascended master. This one, an ascended master. And you have something to release. Release control. Ear chakra right here. Listen, listen. Father has been tilting my head up. Listen. Manifestation power, but clear, cancel, and delete. Clear, cancel, and delete. Maybe that's a part of what you're going to do. Clear, cancel, and give it over to the Father. God box. Whatever your cares are, your worries are, give it to the Father. Write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you, to guide you. Those messages, write them in the box and put them in there. The Father will give you the downloads. Just ask him for the ears to hear it. You'll be able to cut the cords and heal anything that's holding you back, especially the fear. Crystals may be a good thing for you. Again, watch your food. I really keep feeling like that. Clear your energy, clear your energy, clear your energy. Have you asked your angels for help with this? You need to ask for help. Ask for help. Ask for help. I feel like somebody is seriously concerned. Anything else? No. Somebody is really afraid of their gift. And you know what? This is some heavy stuff. I'm talking about you trying to, you, you all of a sudden have a drop down on you that you a whole earth angel. Like you got wings for real back here. And you know, a freaking sword and a helmet. And I feel a chest plate, like the whole guarded thing. You know what I mean? Like, but I just feel like you like a wounded warrior. You know? And you need to ask for help. You need to call in your help calling your spiritual help like you have a team and you just have to ask for them you don't remember that you can ask for them and it's maybe a certain kind of way that you need to command because whether people like to hear it or not we do speak in spells and power and life and death is in the tongue and there's often ways that we need to pray specifically to get what it is that we need and you may need to have help doing that like ask the father ask your angels to reveal onto you what to pray so that you have your spiritual weaponry you have your uh, um edification and strength i feel fortified you know you can be fortified and girded stable i feel Get a new solid foundation. Anything else? Okay. Well, I feel like we got this message out. Something is coming down on you for real soon. Um, because you are a star seed. You are. And you need spiritual help. Yeah. You, you're going to need your, your tribe, your spiritual tribe, to let your spirits in to come and help you. Anything else? Nothing. 
Nothing, 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 nothing. Can I put them away? Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. That's what we have for y'all this evening. It ain't quite the night, but that's what we had. And hopefully, you guys was able to sit through it and get through it because uh, it was rough. I felt like, you know, it really took a time for this to come together. Like, I don't know chili or something. It tastes like a whole bunch of random ingredients until it got to simmer and the flavors got to coming together and we finally figured out what the heck was going on. But, we got it out. To the next now, y'all know this, that I love you. I love you just like I love the Father, the Most High, who brought everything together by its word, on its breath that fills and combines all of us and connects us. I feel you. We, I feel you. Okay, and her name is Sag and Son and uh, Spiritual Sag, I think it is. So y'all check her out. You'll see what I'm talking about. So I'll probably use the picture that I took for the timestamp as the thumbnail for this video. And we'll see where it goes. Hopefully the father will bring the person that's supposed to be here and listen to uh, get the message. And uh, I hope you feel it and you resonate. And if you vibe, subscribe. If you care about it, share it out. And uh, if you want to come back on a daily and get this bill, hit the bill. Till the next now, y'all. Ashe. Mm -hmm.